Today's episode of Ravens Roundup, we're going to talk about Lamar's best rushing record of his career so far, 152 yards. Um, I'm going to show you select four carries in which he got the bulk of those yards, so let's get into it right now. First play is a um, split zone. We're going to let this one go through so you can see the, the full view of it, and then we'll break it down from the backside. Let's get to the breakdown part. Again, split zone. So basically what that means is all these guys are going to kind of block inside zone going left. And again, I keep forgetting about this. Our big mouse. Big mouse, big mouse. I forget every time because I can see it. I know some people can't. Bam, there we go. Free tutorial every time. Again, split zone. These guys up front. All gonna block inside zone to the right, to the right. So they're all going in this direction. Make it a double team here. Make it a double team here. Up to backer, kick out right there. Hurst is gonna come in motion and act like he's going to block this guy. Regular split zone, he will block this guy, and Mark Ingram will hit it downhill. They're going to send Willie Snead in motion, and once Snead gets maybe right in here and Lamar right past the center, or whatever, he's gonna snap the ball, and. This dude's going to squeeze so tight trying to cut off the inside run that Lamar's going to end up with two blockers when he pulls the ball. So let's watch it. We got a tight 50 day squeeze. Now, if you ever coach, you know, uh, inside and outside zone, you know, uh, you coach a quarterback. If the shoulders are turned, you're pulling the ball. So his shoulders are turned, so this is a pull automatically. And you got these guys running inside zone. He's there. Yonder's with his eyes on that guy because he's supposed to feel that gap. Got a man-on-man -man block here. Got a double team here with uh, Bozeman's eyes looking at 52 to see where he's going. So um, their run fits are pretty good. But when you have a running quarterback, the run fits can kind of be exposed a little bit. So now, this guy's not being blocked. Uh, Lamar's going to pull it. Cause, and he's going to take Ingram. He's going to try to take Ingram. But you got Snead coming around for 58. You got, um, I can't remember which tight end this was, coming around for 40. Now, he pulled that with two lead blockers. And look at the effort by Stanley. Look at the effort by Stanley. Keeping that hand free, getting down the field. Stanley's 10 yards down the field, still blocking. Now, Lamar just does what he does. Does what he does. Funny thing is, and this is a touchdown, it's the same play. This touchdown runs the same play. Nothing different. And the only difference is, hey, uh, boy, it falls down. Just watch it from the back. Same exact play. Boy just falls down. Again, these guys going to run inside zone to the right. Uh, Sneeze going to come in motion. Uh, Boy's going to pull around with him. They're going to act like they, you know, giving it off or whatever. And going to be out the gate. He does, 58 does the same exact thing. Didn't learn. Shoulders turn, automatic pull. I, I don't know what defensive coordinator would say, chase the dive and let Lamar keep the ball out. I don't know what that strategy was. But again, you see inside zone ran here. Uh, Yonder's eyes are here. Man on man block here. Trying to get a double team with eyes on 52. All right. Pull around. Now, you got Sneed for 59. Boyer falls, but we still had it blocked up. And that's just, this is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. The effort getting in the end zone. That's total effort getting in the end zone by your quarterback. Now, come back with dive option, which is a similar play. Let me let it run. Sneed coming in motion is window dressing. That's all it is, just window dressing. Trying to get somebody to move. Now in this dive option. That is the read guy. Number 94. So let's kind of focus on 94 right now. 94 is squeezing down because these guys still running inside zone. They running inside zone to the left this time. They're running inside zone. These one, two, three, four, five, all the old linemen running inside zone. He's going to shuffle, shuffle down. Now Lamar knows that he can't beat him outside. He he shuffled down, which caused 94 and 52 to kind of slide down, you know, into the 
run fit, so to speak. And Lamar knows 94 can't catch him at this pace. He has him out leverage right now. And look what he got out here. He got a blocker here. And he got Chris Moore blocking here. So now he's, he has him out leveraged. Because they have to respect this dive. They have to. Now, 94 definitely has to. I don't know if 52 has to. 94 definitely has to respect that dive. And now he has them out leveraged. He has the safety out leveraged, defensive end, and a linebacker. With two blockers out there. He just does a good job of reading the blocks. Now, this last play, scramble. And, you know, if you've been with me from the beginning of the season, I thought this is how Lamar should have got gotten the most of his runs. This is the way Lamar can pick up chunks of yardage, and which on this play he did. I think he got about 29 yards. This is the last play before halftime with, like, seven seconds left. Let's try back to pass. Everybody's covered. And just get out of the gate. Then he really lost track of time, so he tried to get out of bounds the last second. But still, this is how I think he should get a lot of his chunk yardage. Again, editing mishap there. So, but um, with that being said, that's Lamar's run. He had, he got, let me see, I got 21, 14, uh, 29, and something else. So that's that's half of his 152 yards on four carries. And again, uh. This is Coach Evans with uh, Sip the Tally Films and Ravens Roundup. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. And I can re respond to almost all my comments. And another big news for the people that watch to the end. We recently got Marcus Peters, which helps secure our backfield, our defensive backfield, so to speak. Uh, Peters is a, a man corner, which uh, can allow Wink to do more things. Because now you got two man corners on the outside. Hopefully, you know, him and Humphrey stay healthy and we can kind of, uh, and Earl can do his thing and roam center field and things are looking up. But it still does not address the biggest problem I think we have defensively, and that's pass rush. But again, you know, you can talk about Lamar's run. We can talk about the Peters pickup. Uh, anything you want to talk about in the comment section, please feel free to type it in there and I'll get back to you on it. And again, it's Coach Evans. This is week six, episode one of Ravens Roundup, uh, Lamar Jackson's record setting day.